Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with laserengravingbusiness.com and in this video I had posted a video earlier about um, our Easter tags that we're making and most people commented and said that they wanted to see our Easter tag number one created first. So I haven't had time to uh, make a full video on the entire project because we're trying to, you know, we're trying to fill all these orders. But in the meantime, I have made a video on how to edit the file, which I think is what most people will need help with. And um, so that's what this video is all about. This video is about how to edit the file and add the name to the bunny face um, in Inkscape. If you use another type of pro uh, program, I'm not real familiar with those. You may need to watch another tutorial on those, but I do believe Inkscape is free. And if you have to, and it's the only program or the only tutorial out there, you can download Inkscape and follow this guide right here. And you will be able to make these Easter basket tags. And every time I sell a file online or make a video, I always have someone who's a little frustrated or disappointed with the uh, file because they have to do some sort of editing, which if you're going to get into the laser engraving type of business, you're going to need to learn some type of software anyway, if you want to make money in this business or if you want to be successful at creating products. So if you're having trouble editing the file, don't get frustrated. Just send me a message and I'll try and work through it with you. And it's all <coughs> gonna help you in the long run the more you learn with these programs. So hope you enjoy the video. Hope it helps a lot of you out. And I will be posting the link in the description to the other video about the Easter tags, and I'll also post the link to this tag down in the description. Thanks for watching. Okay, everyone. So, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to add a name to the center of this bunny tag, and how to how to combine it into the outline of this bunny tag. And so this is gonna be the tag that we're gonna add the name to. Once you print it out, it will glue and fit onto the backing of this bunny head here. And so if you notice, when you click over this bunny head, you have two, two boxes. So that means this outline and this outer outline are not combined, which is what we want. We don't want it to be combined right now. So you're going to go to your text tool and spell out your name with the desired font. And I am using a cursive font called Hello Bella Bold, as you see up here, Hello Bella Bold. And you can download this font. And there is a, a, a commercial license for it. If you want to sell these tags, I suggest you buy the commercial license. And there is also a free version at thefont.com. So I'm going with Hello Bella Bold, spelled out my name, Greer here. And it's very important that you go to your stroke and fill box if you don't have this box pulled up already you can hold down the shift control f key and it will pull this box up so we're gonna press the x on the fill so this will go away and we're gonna click on this flat color box here for the stroke and as you can see it returns it returns in red which is what we want and if you notice how the r intersects into the I and the I intersects into the E and so forth. We don't want that to happen. We don't want that to show. We want to combine these letters. 
And you'll also notice how the G is not connected to the OR. And we also don't want that to happen. We want the G to combine with the OR. So first thing we need to do is go to path, object path. Nothing will happen here, but that allows you to edit the text. And then you're gonna to go to ungroup. And as you notice, it selects each individual letter, except it still groups the G and the OR. I'm not quite sure why it, why it does that, but that's what it does every time. So if you just click the G, it will select the G and the OR together. Then you're gonna go back up to path, and you're gonna click the break apart button. And that will separate the G and the OR. And so now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And we want to drag this G so that it combines to the R here. Click, you know, move it to where you need it. Zoom back out. And oop, undo that. Okay, I'm trying to select all the letters here. Okay, once you select all the letters again, you're going to go up back up to path and click union. And it combines all of the letters. So you have one word here. Next step is to drag it into the center of the bunny face. And while you hold down the control key on your keyboard, you're going to left click and hold this arrow here. And that's going to allow you to proportionately drag the name to make it bigger. Now, all we want to do is make it so that the word is connected to the bunny face. And so I have the G connected here and the R connected here. And so what you're going to want to do is click the name. And while you have the name selected, you're going to hold down the Shift and the Alt key on your keyboard. And while you have that the Shift and the Alt key, held down, you're going to hover over this first line right here, the inside line, and scroll up on your middle mouse button. And that allows you to select the name and also select this first line. And now we're going to combine the word to the outline of the bunny. So while you have the name and the first line selected, go up to path and go up to Click on difference. And as you see, it has combined the name to the outline. And so you still have two separate boxes. You have the inside box and the outside box. We want to select the entire thing, path, or uh, path, and not union. Um, go back up to select the whole thing, both boxes path and combine and that will give you one square so that when you move it around you're not only moving just one um, one layer and once you send it to your laser you're going to send it to your laser as two separate pieces and being both of them being red will tell the laser that you're going to want to cut both of these out so your laser is going to cut this outline out Cut this out, that's where your string is going to go. And then it will cut out all of this. Okay. It will cut out all the red lines. And so you'll have this backing board. Then you'll have this outline with the name. And you will glue that right on top of this backing board here, just like this. And you can stain this one. And you can paint this one or stain it however you want to do it. But this is just the Inkscape editorial video. Um, I will be coming out with a video on producing the entire product. So I hope this helps some of you while I'm uh, working on the other video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and like and subscribe.